Hey guys, happy Monday. Today was kind of an irritating day, but it was nice and quiet at the same time I work. I was moody, I don't know, but anyway, it was cold, and then I had like a major headache. I just wanted to be home, but um, I don't know. I had an easy clinic. Actually, I have like an easy clinic all week. So, <laughs> it should be good. And then it's Friday's payday. Heading home now. Oh my gosh. I just wanted to go home. Um, but yesterday I finally did this turmeric paste mask. Um, you can do it on your face, but I am doing it on my arms because <laughs> that's where I have some old scars. And you guys have seen them. I know. I think it doesn't really look that bad. But to me, I think it's like the worst thing ever on my skin. But on Saturday, I faced my fears wearing a short sleeve shirt. Which I used to wear all the time because it's freaking hot. And honestly, I felt a little anxiety at Chuck E. Cheese. I know it's sad. It's like I am a 35-year-old. Why am I being paranoid over <laughs> my arm scars but it's just like it makes me feel so self-conscious about myself and I'm overweight I don't feel sexy I don't feel cute you know so I left on for like an hour and I didn't feel any irritations or burning sensations or anything or itchiness but once I washed it off I, it was getting red and almost bumpy like certain spots. It wasn't horrible. It finally went away after maybe 10 minutes or so But I, I, I took a sh good shower making sure all the residue came off and stuff But if my skin did feel really soft and today too felt really soft and maybe I was tripping I don't know. Maybe it's a placebo effect. I Felt like it it got lighter even though it's been um, just started yesterday, but um I'm gonna try again today and I'll leave it on for like 30 minutes and this time I I think I'm gonna use um, lemon because lemon do have a very good pro property agents um, where it contains it bleaches the skin and it's also an anti-inflammatory kind of like honey so um, it helps fade old score scars like it, it builds more collagen in your skin and rebuild itself I don't know stuff like that mumbo jumbo but I'm gonna try that today <laughs> my step that was like are you trying to turn yellow or something like he was dead serious like no it's for my arm scars but um I'll keep doing it consistently every single day and see what happens so Today's 81 degrees. It was so cold in the office. Like our building is special. Like it's an old building. So they say you can't um control all parts of the building. So some parts would be hot, some parts would be extremely cold. And yeah, my part is extremely cold. So I had to heat her on and it was making me feel sick. And then my allergies was crazy today. Like once you walk into my office, you literally inhale freaking people's perfume. Like I don't understand. We work for cardiology and a lot of people have, are asthmatic and got COPD and bronchitis and all this shit. And you wear strong as perfume, like those freaking Elizabeth type scents. Like they're strong and someone like me, I'm, I'm highly allergic to strong scents like that. It makes me feel so sick and I was sneezing and my chest was hurting and gave me major headaches. I'm sorry I think maybe that's why my head was hurting today, but... Today was just extra, like the whole hallway just smells like it, like it was so strong. So, it's annoying. Anyway, I don't know what I have planned for today. I'm still wanting to make tacos, but I need to leave my taco turkey meat out. And I didn't feel like texting my stepdad to bring the turkey meat out. I don't know, I'm just, I'm feeling moody. Maybe my parents will leave or something and I can have like quiet me time with Ava. Oh, I'm gonna, I'll check you guys later. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, he's what? Mm. Hey, don't get mad. Ava, hey, only a baby, Alex. Ava don't know anything. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. 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 I 
Ta 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 Who gives that card, Alex? You're alright, Doc. Oh, Ava, come to. Oh, 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 who's that? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, it's flat. It's flat. Flat. Don't you the card, Doc? Who gives that, Alex? Oh, I got it. What? Oh no! You not play it? Yes. What do we do? Oh no! No, no catch it. guys good morning it is wednesday i feel like this week is going to buy pretty fast it's been very laid back at work and chilled and not much of a stressful clinic week but um i just want to say something talk about something um this is the second time that has happened to me and you know how there's so many stuff going on with racism like a lot than usual um I feel like asking Walgreens management what is the deal or instead of me just overthinking it. But um, again, this is the second time it's happened. Um, where I work, there's a Walgreens across from us. You could, you could even walk up the hill or like once I get to my exit, I head into Walgreens, get a snack here and there, whatever. But um, I am the only one in that store. Again, it happened twice already. And I'm I'm like looking. I'm always there like every week or every other week, you know. The same um, person at registration always sees me. Either that lady or that girl or the other girl. Even in afternoon, um, late evening. Like I'm looking at things. Um, at prices, lotions, whatever. Because sometimes Walgreens got a good deal. Buy one, get one half off and stuff. So, I'm like looking. Probably like within like five minutes or so. The intercom goes, help in the cosmetic area or whatever. On the intercom. Same thing happened last time. I was the only one in there. I'm like thinking like, are they, is that their code for like somebody might be stealing, have a lookout or to let the girl in the, in the front know to like walk around or something because I heard a door open like someone else was coming out but I didn't see the person at all so I'm like is this a coincidence what does it mean is there a secret code or am I just being judged you look suspicious I know you know I could be in scrubs I could be I could still be stealing but they see me here all the time I mean really I'm walking in with thin ass clothing items on I mean the scrub and you know top bottom it's really thin if I was to steal something you could probably see some really bumpy you know I got my keys I got my phone in my hands and my car in my hand but it's like am I crazy or just an explanation behind this anyone that has worked at Walgreens in the past or now let me know is that like your protocol or something or is it something new or is this do they do this for everybody I mean, I don't know. And there's been times when it's me and another person who I also work with who is Caucasian. And I'm in there at the same time with her. And that intercom help in a cosmetic area never goes on. So I'm confused. 
I don't know. I used to work at Walgreens. I don't remember doing anything like that at all. This was like back in like early um, 2000. Like 2001, 99, 2000. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I really want to ask them. Like I'm there all the time. So I shouldn't be like weirded out, right? I know it's going to make them feel very uncomfortable that it goes on. But um. Uh, and at Walgreens, let me know. Hey guys, happy Wednesday, hump day. It's hump day! But anyway, look uh, online, um, Kroger's, and this other grocery store place, Fresh Time, or Fresh Time. Um, watermelons are final on sale, I believe it's $3.99 a pound? I don't know, but it's better than six something. And chairs or a dollar eighty-eight or eighty-seven, something like that. So I'm going to get some, and I totally forgot that our Fourth uh, of July potluck at work is on Friday. So super excited about that. So I'm gonna attempt to make um, cut the watermelons into star shape using a star cookie cutter. I'm gonna get some um, either at um, some at Kroger's or at Hobby Lobby and there's always a coupon so hopefully I can find some. My Kroger got some so I either that or I'll use that um, borrow from Shamar Boo. So it should be fun. So yeah, super excited. Um, it was gloomy all day. The sun is going in and out. The sun just came out like what, 30 minutes ago and now it's going away again. But it's hot, it's 81 degrees, but it's been like nice and cool in the late evening, so it's not too bad, and I didn't get any hives the last two days, so yeah. Um, oh, and I got YouTube approved! I am back, and I'm allowed to do my, I'm allowed to monetize my videos now, which means I'll get paid again, but now I still got a question. Um, the last time I checked my Google Ad AdSense, that's where I get my payment from, it was like 10 something, so... All the videos that I've been making the last few months, especially the ones that got a lot of views and comments and stuff, is that going to be added to? I don't know. I'm confused. We'll see. Anyway, video just got cut off because I need to delete some files. But anyway, yeah, I am approved for YouTube. I can monetize my videos. Um, I hope it continues. Um, because I get paid through Google AdSense, but the last time. I saw it was like 10 bucks or something because that's when I it stopped with all the changes in February so we'll see because all the videos I made since then has a lot of one a few of them got lots of views and comments and all that stuff so I don't know I don't know hopefully it works the same way as before I don't have any issues account bank account same everything so yes all right, getting ready to go home. It's getting hot, but I got my two watermelon and two bags of cherries. I'm gonna get some more on um, Friday because I'm poor. But anyway, I got my cookie cutters. They were only $2.99, but with a coupon, $1.99. Aren't they cute? They're not like the best brand, but hey, it works. It's stainless steel, comes with different sizes. I'll probably use, hmm. Maybe the second one or the big one. What do you guys think? Maybe I'll do both. We'll see. And then I got a just a brand new um, container because I don't know. Easy to carry for the watermelons. And I don't like bringing like my stuff to other people's parties, especially people that I'm not like family with. You know what I mean? Because I feel like people might, might be like grossed out if that makes sense. So at least this will make people feel comfortable. You know what I mean? You know, you know. Unless uh, I'm close with the person, I'll bring my, my own plate or whatever. But if not, I get a new bag, a new container, whatever, you know. So, yeah, this shall be fun. Can't wait to show my mom. And I try looking which watermelon looks best or whatever. I try Googling, but they all look the same to me. I don't know. I expect the greenest looking one. They're all they're funky shaped. I don't know. But it's going to be good. Hey, guys almost home here um yeah i went to john eagles got some blueberries or two for five still expensive to me i'm not a fan of blueberries but if i see them i'll eat them but anyway i'm gonna attempt to make it turn to a flag except i won't have like the white part of the flag but it'll still be cute and festive just 
looked at some Pinterest stuff since yesterday. You know me. Try to be creative. Certain things I can't do. Some stuff I can. So, yep, got some blueberries. Gonna cut up some watermelon and yeah. I feel kind of moody and just bipolar. I don't know. Um, stuff happened last night as usual and we had like a long meeting. Um, at work today for like an hour going over some stuff that we did a survey on on stuff that people commented and somebody i don't know i was shocked almost sounds like me but it wasn't me um about being bullied and stuff like the way they worded it made me so sad inside like if i felt that way imagine this other person who, who feels the same way i'm like who could it be a lot of people at my job is pretty strong, very, um, I don't know. I feel like I'm one of the weaker ones. I mean, I'm not, ah, make people, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Just, it kind of got to me. It's everything, it's everything people are annoying for me. And honestly, God, there's really nothing, um, anyone can do about it to save you because honestly it's always the popular people or the clique or the lead will win and have a say they have that hand that they can treat you like shit and it's all on you um work until you feel so depressed until you decide to leave it's how it is at every job like is this the way work life works you will like it get out of here and move on and if you get lucky end up in a good place if not then you're just here to work and get your paycheck and sacrifice because people got families people got bills and things to deal with and they need the money so and i keep talking about this like i looked at this thing online or i can't don't know where i heard from but at least like nine percent of people don't like what they do but they do because of the money and it's sad but you do what you gotta do and suck it up and deal with depression and that leads to mental health like we're at our jobs like 90 percent all the time like every day we're we're there more than we are with our families and how people act and talk to you and whoever is around you affect your health, your mental health, your emotional health, it's everything. And some people are stronger than others and the weak, aka me, it just messes you up so bad. You want to cry and sometimes you cry about for so long, for so many years, you can't even cry anymore but be quiet and hurt inside and just feel dry and empty. Yeah, yeah, I was like, oh my god, people are probably going to think that I wrote that. And I think I wrote something similar to that, but the wording was so professional, so like intellectual. I'm like, oh, that's not me. I can't write like that. But I'm like, who else? And I'm so curious. I've been trying to ask people here and there, but I'm like, I feel bad. Like, should I reach out to this person? If I, if I knew who it was, like, did I do something wrong to make this person feel that way? Like, I, I know I've been, like, kind of like attitude towards certain people but not to the point where I have bullied them or make them feel like I'm over them or inferior I don't know I'm using the right word but that just makes me feel sad that someone actually wrote that I don't know <sighs> there's certain things like no matter what you do you cannot change the way things are it's like survival of the fittest or am I saying it right I don't know the chain of survival. I don't know. Something like that. Unless you got connections. Unless you're close to like the lead. Unless you're um, a potty mouth. Unless you intimidate people. You're okay. If you're not any of those above that I just mentioned. You suck. You're, li you're the little people. People will walk all over you. People will look down on you. People who, who don't think they're being mean to you are mean to you. I really hope Ava is so much stronger than me and at the same time not 
a little bitch, not mean, not make people feel like shit, not ever make someone cry at work or after work thinking about what they say to me and and some people say things and I even realize that it's hurtful. He has to talk shit about people, but I don't know. <sighs> it's just, it's like this everywhere. I'm so tired. I'm so fed up. And you just wonder, like, that, that person smiles may not be smiling inside. Yeah, again, I'm just having a bipolar moment. I don't know. It's just a comment I saw on, on the screen. It was just like, what the fuck? At least I know I'm not crazy and I'm, I, I do feel that way. Like, there's just bullies at work. And bullying does not necessarily mean someone's beating you up. It can be attitude. It, 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 it can be the environment and the response. Personality. Yeah. Over it. I'm over it. I'm so glad tomorrow's Friday.